we're making caramel. You can use this caramel for anything. Uh, you can, whoa, ah, just put it on your hand and lick it. But you keep it for your ice cream sundaes, you keep it for your apple crisp, you keep it for your pie, you keep it for whatever you need. I'm gonna show you how to make it, it's super easy. Turn on your burner, it's a cup of sugar. Um, and uh, we're not gonna use this whole thing of butter. We'll use one, two, three, four, five, six, Six. Let's use six, six tablespoons. It's so hot in here, guys, that my butter, I'm surprised it's not clarified right now. So, the sugar's gonna take a minute, but I wanna tell you, talk to you a little bit about it. You cannot just leave your sugar here and go take a shower or take the dog for a walk or whatever you might be doing. So, you wanna adjust as needed. So basically, the sugar is going to melt. And also, if you have a two-year-old like I do, make sure he's down for his nap when you do this because it's not going to be pretty, guys, and I'm not taking responsibility for burns. So, get yourself a little rubber spatula or whatever you have, and we're going to sit here, and it's going to start to melt. When it does start to melt, it's going to probably come up on the sides or melt in different places. You're going to want to stir that around so that the sugar and the boiling sugar kind of mix and it's going to get a little clumpy you'll see that in a second so there's a million reasons to make caramel i particularly am making it today for a delicious apple crisp i am making it for my neighbor and i'm going to put that on there i gotta say my friend carney wilson gave me the idea for this so i do not want to uh you know take credit for it so shout out to love bites by carney if you have not checked out her uh Love Bites, they're fucking delicious. Um, and they're, I think she probably, I don't know, but she probably calls them Love Bites because they're just like little snack size. But check it out, support it. Um, I love them. All right, so I've been pulling this off the heat like this because I don't want it to get too hot and stirring it to get all the sugar melted. And like I said, it will get chunky on you. Don't worry about that. Now I'm going to put all the butter in. That was, uh, I don't remember, six tablespoons, I think we said yes. So look at that. It's going to melt, and it's going to look crazy. Again, don't, don't throw this on anybody. Uh, but we're going to stir all that up. Get that butter nice and melted. We want to keep stirring it because we don't want to go crazy. Now, if you guys want to make salted caramel, just throw, um, well, at the end, you're going to want to throw in a teaspoon of salt and it'll be salty, but we don't need that. So I want to make sure we get this butter well incorporated. Of course, it's obviously separated, and uh, now we're going to put in about half a cup of cream. Let's do that. Nice and slow though, okay guys? Nice and slow. Woo! Nice and slow, this is hot. I mean, I've got some stuff in the oven too, but. Woo! All right, nice and slow. I'm gonna put a little more in, because we, we need a full half a cup in this. I'm gonna let that to continue to boil and cook. Okay, that is a half a cup because I am a measuring scientist here. Look at that, it's starting to look like real caramel. All right, it is perfect. So, my best advice to you is now that you have perfect caramel, you see that guys, I want you to take that rolling boil right there. I am turning it off and I am going to let it sit on the stove for a couple minutes, cut to a couple minutes, and then only because I am a professional, um, pour it in a container to let it cool. Um, I'm gonna pour it in this, and eventually it'll go into my squeeze bottle so that you can squeeze it. But go ahead and take a look at this. This is what it looks like hot, and this is what it looks like cold. See that? It's great. So you gotta let it cool, guys. It's really hot and don't stick your fingers in it. Enjoy! And one last thing. Also, you guys are gonna hate me. Once you make this, you're gonna have a bunch of sticky caramelized sugar at the bottom of your pan. 
Just fill it full of water from the sink and bring it up to a boil. Let it boil for like two minutes and then rinse it out and it'll be perfectly clean.